We're out at JR Automation this morning. We're doing some machine alignments here. We're dialing in all these fixtures before they send them out to their clients. And uh, these fixtures will be used for uh, putting some metal parts onto uh, during a welding process. And what I've done so far is I've prepared this CAD model with all of the nominal surfaces, all the nominal spheres. I've constructed those and some of the datum pins on here as well. But what I want to show you is how to measure a, uh, a round slot because this pin or this fixture has got multiple round slots as pins that we're going to be using as datum references. So what I'm going to do is show you guys how to go in, measure those up, and be convinced that they're uh, they're right to where they need to be in the CAD model for uh, for position and for size. So I'm going to do that in the model here. I've got 4.0 up today in an SAT file. I've done my CAD data alignment based on the three tooling spheres here. And now what I'd like to do is go in and measure that round slot. So come on into the SAT file. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go up here to the measure pull-down menu. And I'm going to go to slots. And I'm going to go to round slot. Okay, you've got the option here. You can define a plane or you can select a plane that's already been defined out here. I'm going to define a plane each time I go through. Since it's a 2D feature, it needs to know where to go uh, relative to that slot in a plane. So I'm going to measure the, uh, the plane uh, on the base of this, this pin before I start to measure the pin. I've got my render on. I'm going to turn that render off a second. I'll say OK to that first. Actually, I'll back out of that to turn the render off to give the wireframe. That works a little bit better. Now I'll go to measure, slot, round slot again, and then to define. This is the area where I want to do my analysis. So what I'll do is I'll zoom in, 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 in a little bit here just to show you that area. And then I'll hit the R key to regenerate the view. All right, so this is the slot, the area that I'm going to be measuring. So I'm just going to let my arm counterbalance down and still support it like this. And then I'm going to come in just at the base of this slot. And I'm defining the plane now. I'm going to do that with the green button once. Green button here. And then come to this other side here. Once there. And once there. And I'm going to come away to compensate. Now notice on the bottom of my screen it's asking for .1 on one end of the arc. So I'm going to pick up on one end of the slot, and I'm going to put multiple points on it. And I'm going to put four points on, but I'm going to start past the point of tangency. So I'm going to start right here. One with a green. Two with a green. There's three. And there's four. Now, after I've done that, I'm going to compensate away. And now look at the bottom left of my screen. It's asking for point one on the opposite end of the arc. So I'll come back in, and I'm going to do the same thing here. And I want to stay away from that point of tangency. So I'm going to take one point here, one about here, one about here, and one about here, and then compensate away. Again, never cross the geometry. And then what Faro does is it goes out and it solves for the best fit center formed by these two arcs here. So notice in my SAT file, though, I've already had this model prepared. I've got data that's already out there that it's comparing it to. So notice here's my nominal. I've already got a tolerance in there of plus or minus 10 thousandths. But what I do too is I look at the form right off the bat. I want to make sure that the form is tight. And it's a ground pin, so it's within 3 tenths of a thou. I love that. Okay. And Farrell automatically associated the nominal to it and gave it a name. I've called that the block 2 pin 2. And it's compared it to its XYZ location. And here's the deviation. So I'm within my 10 thousandths of an inch. So I'm going to say OK to that. And notice that's where my slot will appear in my wireframe. I'll zoom in just a couple clicks here and show you that. So measuring up a round slot for datum pins is very easy. As long as you're tracking both sides of the geometry, make sure that you're not past the point of tangency. And always be sure to check out your form after you're done. Now, this fixture here, if I, uh, if I was outside of that tolerance on that plus or minus 10 thousandths, what we would do is we would add shims to certain, uh, to certain blocks here to dial it in. And then I would go in and I would edit and I would replace readings. 
And I've got a great module that's going to show that as well as we move from this position to the next fixture over, which is an identical fixture. So we're going to use the edit replace readings then. So be sure you stick around for that one too. Thank you.